Yo, what's going on, sexy Samalanda squad? Over here doing a rank one v one, and I am playing some god I don't normally play. It's Try Hard Thursday, so I kind of want to try hard, but I also want to play something that's new. The Let's show off the Artemis remodel. I don't know if I've done that before. Yeah, actually, hold on, wait a second. My original, my original reaction was not correct. Yeah. First off, that's like what happens to Link whenever. Never mind. I've been playing too much Tears of the Kingdom, um, or watching it, playing and watching. Really, it's kind of all I do on my free time, and I play Wobble Life now. Apparently, it's a funny game where it's basic. Have you ever seen what is it called? Uh, I forget the name. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Um, hold on. I have to tab out. This is it. This is what it looks like. Human fall flat. It's basically human fall flat. Yeah, 15 hours. Um, but instead of human fall flat, you got to do jobs around the city in human fall flat controls. It's a little bit easier than human fall flat, I guess. And, um, make enough money to buy a house. <laughs> <laughs> and you can buy clothes and find secrets and stuff. It's pretty sick. See, so yeah, I've been playing that, but I've also been playing Tears of the Kingdom. And the new Artemis remodel. I stand by what I said when she was shown, which I don't know if a lot of people know what I said, but I said I think she looks like a pixie. Like a human-sized pixie in the forest of... For some reason, my mind was going to say Nippleheim. But more like Peter Pan. More like Tinkerbell. Think Tinkerbell, but human-sized and way more aggressive. Actually, I don't know if it's more aggressive. Tinkerbell's kind of like... She's like a... a, a okay, don't hit me. He beats. Okay. Relic down. That's actually really good for me because... Because I think that... Oh, my God. Hello. What the... Oh, my... Wait. I didn't shell because in my mind, there's no way anyone is psychotic enough to hold that three under tower. In my mind... He outplayed my, my brain. Oh, man. He's down bad. Jeepers. Go ahead, fight me. Fight me, butt pirate. Nice. Nice. What is his name? Never Gold Freak? Is he saying he's never been gold before because he's better than that? Or is he saying that he doesn't need gold because he's better than that? Or is he being humble saying... I don't need gold. I'm going to lose anyways, or I've never been gold. I'm just a silver main. There's so many iterations of that name that I'm confused and also slightly terrified at. Don't hit me. If you hit me, then you're cooler than me and I can't have that. Nice. I actually really thought he was going to jump over the wall and hit me. Go Devos. By the way, it's try hard Thursday, right? So I have, obviously I got to do the meta build, which is just Griffin wing Devos defense and then crit chance. So. That's the Metal Hunter build. Oh, he is maxing that three. Goodness. Okay. I gotta be careful. I gotta have my one prepped. That three is gonna chunk the crap out of me. Ow. Oh, he missed. Oh. He's got the horn shard. Hmm. All right. That's not bad at all. I went from losing every fight to destroying him in that fight. I'll take it. Don't really understand it. Well, I mean, I finished my item. There's a little bit I understand, but 
still. Winning the fight that hard was surprising. Uh, actually, he did miss his three. He missed his three, so maybe it's not that surprising. Don't steal. Thank you. Probably doing your blue, huh? Probably don't care about mine. Oh. Okay. I'm actually not scared here. Let's go. He died in my trap. <clears throat> I should have been scared, by the way. There is literally no universe I win that fight. But I guess he got a little scared. Backpedaled out. <coughs> Gave me enough room to get a couple extra autos in. Come on. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I definitely cannot greed that, but I am going to take what I can. I'm not going to like try to go pick it up. I'm not going to die is what I'm saying. Like I'm not, if he, if he even so much as if he's like right here, I drop it. He can have it. I don't care. I don't care enough. But he took too long to clear, which is good for me. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I'm lucky. Gotta count my blessings, man. Aw, oh, man. I wanted that one. Oh, my. Hello. Oh, that was so good. Wow. He got obliterated there. I'm doing a lot of damage. My guess is he just backed. I don't think he's going to compete with me there. He's way too low. Yeah, he backed. Okay. I don't know why I looked in, in real life. I peeped over there. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, he jumped away. Okay. I got some decent damage on him. I mean, I, I'm not going to kill him here, but getting a little bit of damage just shows I'm not that scared of him. Second, or I'm sorry, third item. Um, Honestly, I was originally thinking that I'm just going to go bre uh, Berserkers, but I think I will go Breastplate because having my one up more often is going to really mess with him. Not only is my one a root, but it's also a cripple, which a lot of people don't know about Artemis, actually. Thank you for one of those. Um, but yeah, the, the one is actually a cripple, so he can't one or jump out of it, which is a big thing. Or I guess one or three. He can't three or jump out of it is what I should have said. Not that it matters. Oh, well. Hit me. Hit me, I dare you. Goodness. Bro, I am timing these alts well. Because you only get like a... I don't know. Maybe a one second window. Not even. How much CC immunity do you get? Is it just with, with the initial cast? So maybe like a half second? What I am surprised about is that he keeps doing it for some reason. He keeps jumping on me, expecting me not to ult. Okay. Nice. Good damage on my part. And I can grab red buff here. Yes, I can't pick it up, but at least getting it off the table so he can't have it is really good for me. And then... Uh, I just, I'll just back. I'll just grab Breastplate here, 1,200. Maybe I can get Tier 1 Rage, or is it 700? It's 700. Uh, all right, well, I'll tell you what. I'll just go Tier 1 Xe then. Just because it's 10% attack speed. And 10% attack speed is going to help me at least a decent amount. 
Hello? I really, really, really wonder. My heart is telling me that I can do Bold Demon no problem, but my head is telling me, Sam, you're going to die. But I've always been a guy to listen to my heart instead of my head, so... Fuck it. Let's do Bold Demon. Oh god. Oh lord, he's coming. Nice. Nice. I, dude, am I insane or is this like a really easy matchup? This feels like I don't even really have to try. Like super early game, it felt a little rough because he could just kind of, I mean, he he literally W keyed me early game. He killed me and I had no chance. But now... It kind of feels the opposite. Yeah, I mean, it feels the complete opposite right now. I feel like I can do anything I want to him and there's nothing he can do to me. He has beat sick. This is good for him, but... Oh, my ult and go off. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's not even going to fight me. He just wanted to, uh... I guess show that he's superior. He's the alpha. By the way, I'm maxing my one instead of my two, even though my two is only runway... One rank away. Because... Hold on. Ah, man. But anyways, I'm maxing my one instead of my two, even though my two is run one rank away because when I looked at my abilities here, I realized that lowering or upgrading the one lowers the cooldown of it, which means with breastplate and a maxed out one, I'm looking at a lot of CC. A lot of CC. Um, what's your build? I'm still gonna go boomerang here. Always be prepared. I'll go boomerang, and I'm gonna go bees here because it's more than likely the last fight of the game, and I could definitely just keep the wing shard. I think the attack speed from Wing Shard is actually really nice. It helps me combat the attack speed slow of the horrific, but beads will also do that. So I might as well. All right, wave clear done. Does leveling my alt lower cooldown? No, it doesn't. All right, time to not be scared. I'm feeling a little scared. <laughs> you know what he should do, honestly? Is when he alts... He's going to ult here in a second. But I was going to say, when he alts, he should step over all of my traps so that when he's done alting... Oh, no. Oh, that was close. I I severely messed that up. I, I don't have any pens, so his build is actually really smart. He wants to jump on me. So naturally, I'm going to let him. And damage is going ballistic. Let's go. Oh, 
Oh, he beads. The fear of God is setting in, dude. I can just sit here because I have I have devos, so. Man, my crit chance is not bussing right now. The GG! Doesn't matter if I have crit chance or not. I will say the double defense is a good play because I have zero pen in my build right now. Like, I, I don't even think I have base pen other than my uh, evolved Devo gloves, which is only like 10 base pen. I built almost no pen. So that double defense, yeah, I mean, it's 15 base pen. That's it. No base pen, no base pen, no base pen, no base pen. Um, yeah, I mean, the, honestly, the double defense build, it was smart. It was just a little too little too late. You know what I mean? I'll see you guys in game number two. Hey, yo, game number two. Let's use this skin. Oh, let's go. Cool. Afro future. Oh, goodness. I'm fighting a Vamana. Oh, Vamana. Wait a second. Can I backdoor better than him? I think I backdoor better than him. Well, maybe not better, but like just as good. I think I'm not scared of this, actually. Okay, let me change that statement. I'm not scared of him backdooring me because I can do so much better than he can, I think. But I am scared of him ulting me because he is CC immune in his ult. Maybe I go erosion. Is that stupid? That kind of sounds stupid. Erosion does take percentage off shields. But I don't know. I don't know. He's probably checking to see if I'm streaming because I assume every every single time I get in this uh, a game with this guy, he pauses immediately. And then um, if I am streaming, he'll unpause and then he won't pause any other game that we have together. Or maybe... Maybe he just went to go get a glass of water. I don't, you know? Maybe I'm, I'm just being conceited right now. Which is definitely a possibility. All right. This relic. This one. Uh, This one. This does reduce shields now. I know you can't see because my fat face, but... It says, using this item reduces the healing received by all enemy gods within 55 units by 40% and decreases their shield effectiveness by 50%. And remove 75% of any currently applied shield. Enemies that are healed by God abilities, which affected this curse, take 10% more damage. Obviously, he's not healed by it, but... It would reduce his ult by 50%. Actually, statistically, a little bit more than 50, because it takes off 75% of the initial shield, and then 50 for all future shields. So it's about, I'd say, a 60% reduction in his alt power or his health when he alts, which would be good as long as... As long as I'm able to actually maintain it. I'm a little nervous about it. You are taking a lot of damage here. Actually, like a real lot of damage. My assumption... Yeah. My assumption is that he cannot get this. Because I knock him up and he really doesn't have an answer to that right now. And because I'm older on, my early game is incredible. Um, I actually think I'm just going to do some tower damage here. Unless I can kill him. Okay. Very weird. Very weird. I fully expected him to not walk forward towards my ult. Just run away and let me do a little bit of tower damage. But him dying there, I mean, that just gives me a lot of leeway in this game. 
Because I was originally expecting to go back and forth in this game because I, I kind of expected him to be able to fight me in my ult. At least until I got Onk at level 12. But now, I'm just kind of expecting him to lose. It doesn't seem like he was ready for our game. Maybe he was ready for a game of less caliber. But he's very clearly AFK right now. An enemy has left he the left the game. Um, I'll pause. And if he comes back, I'll cut this out. If not, I'll see you guys in the next game. He's back. I didn't expect him to come back. It took the full duration of my pause, but he's back. Let's go, dude. All right. I'm excited. I really thought he wasn't going to play this game out. Because he died early. Hey, back up now. I don't know what is going on. He is having... It seems like he's having some sort of technical issue. Or he just really doesn't want to be in this game. Because he died early. Both... Both scenarios I could see. So that is tower down. Jeez, man. Okay, if I was him, I wouldn't want to play this game either. Look at that. I just took tower and then beat him up with, with no issue. Full HP, no problems near or around where I'm currently at. What does he do here? What what can he do here? Because this is where I just go a bit of defense and he loses. And he left again. All right, well, I'll just cut this game from this point and see you guys in the next game because even if he comes back, I'm pretty sure I've already won this game. What's up, boys, for those wondering? Because, yes, it is going to be cut out. Um, He did come back again, but he loaded in. He died. He lost his Phoenix. He left again, and then the game ended. So you didn't really miss anything, unfortunately, because I know it would have been really fun, that matchup, but it's okay. I wanted to play Hades this game, but this man certainly did not want to let me, and I... I'm now going to be playing Fenrir. I haven't played Fenrir in a minute. I think mainly... I was going to say mainly because they changed his 2 again. From 35% attack speed to 25. And then from... I think it was 40% lifesteal to 20. With all the lifesteal changes. So... He got hit pretty hard. With the change. And then I, and then I just really... I never really played him after that. I mean, I've never... I haven't fought a Fenrir that made me rethink my decisions in life. And I haven't really played a Fenrir game where I was like, yeah, he's still really broken. It's more so just been, uh, he's okay. But I wanted to play him anyways. He's still a fun god. Oh, that is upsetting that I didn't kill either minion. Oh, he's doing red. Damn. Okay, that's actually going to suck. Ah, maybe it won't actually, because you're getting kind of clobbered. Yeah, wait a second, dude. Wait just a second. My damage. Feeling really, 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 really nice. Okay. Oh, thank you. I wanted to pick up that blue, but I can't. Ah, uh, he can't kill me here. I'm going to pick it up. Are you going to teleport here and miss your wave? He's not. Okay. He just wanted to annoy me a little bit. 
Understandable. Sometimes a little annoying is exactly what you need just to feel a little bit better about yourself. You know, I get it. I get it. Sometimes I'll run around the house looking for Shiv just so I can hold her face. No other reason. <laughs> you know, that's just, sometimes that's just how life is. Um, we're going to max my one. I can back, but I'm going to go dominance anyway. So there's no, there's no point in me like rushing back because it's not like I need to stack. Can I just drag you under tower? Oh, you have beats. All right. Fine by me. Beats down. We're going to go dominance here. I don't really need more potions. I'm just going to keep all of my money right now. My next item can be a combination of two different things. It can either be a breastplate into hydras, hydras into breastplate. That's one combination. Um, I guess it's two combinations of one different thing, but then it could also be, which is what I'm kind of leaning towards, berserkers into kins or kins into berserkers. The reason I'm leaning towards that is because I feel like ability wise, I'm never going to out damage a child. There's almost no universe. I'm surprised he teleported. I guess I'm probably never gonna out auto attack a chalk either, huh? Ouch. Transcendence hurts. Now I know he wants that red buff. But I also know that the red buff isn't spawning yet because he got it right when I got my blue. So maybe. Oh, okay. I mean, if you're going to ult for it, it's fine. I'm not going to pick it up, though. You are going to go pick it up. All right. No big deal. I am very surprised he's not over here right now. Maybe he's waiting for his blue buff. No alt though this time. Oh, he saved the ability. Smart play. Ah. Uh. Oh, just the instant back. I feel like he might respect me too much. Because I feel like he's kind of demolishing me in these fights. And for some reason, isn't fully taking them yet. I think I might smell a little bit too much respect on this guy. No, oh, okay. So he's going defense. I think it would behoove me to also go defense here. And I will buy my, my first potion of the game. That's not for my chalice. I'm a little bit ahead in gold. I'm a little tiny bit ahead in XP. Maybe a quarter of a level. Not by much. Um, Because he did double buff. So... Yeah, we'll see how many minions it takes him to get level 10. Okay, I missed. So you can clear now. Okay, I'm actually really far ahead. I'm a lot further ahead than I thought I was. That's magnificent. I really thought that we were closer in level. That is not good for him, dude. This is good for me because red buff is spawning and I want to have a lead. I'm okay if you back now. I don't think he can make it back in time. 
Perfect. Put a point in my two for the extra power to help clear this even faster. Awesome. There's the regrowth. That's going to suck. Maybe a toxic blade though. I don't care about you. Nice, I got his ability there. That's all I really wanted. Oh, the horn shard. All right. The, uh, the immediate horn shard. Well played. I can't even be mad. It was simply smart. Oh. Now can I be a little mad? I mean, we got both his alt and his beats there. Honestly? Well played. I have nothing bad to say about that interaction. He played it very, very well. He managed his cooldowns better than me. I did get his alt and his beads by holding my ult. But, um, overall, he got both blues <coughs> catching up in the XP game. I had 13 off of one minion. You had 13 off of probably four. Oh, no. Again, I'm further ahead than I thought I was. I don't get it. How am I this far ahead? How am I this far ahead, XP-wise? I don't really get it. I feel like he's gotten more buffs than me. Maybe when he died, he lost a lot of minions, though. And I just wasn't paying any mind to it. Also, the treasure chests have been mine all game. Okay. Literally do not scare me at all. That minion, on the other hand... I'm okay with this. Jeez. Okay. And he just surrenders. The three, I think I jumped his alt. No, his alt hit me. But my three hit right before his alt and actually proc off of him stealing the red buff while hitting him and then canceling my three while auto attacking because of his alt silencing my three off. I hold the left mouse button while I'm threeing so that right when my three ends, I auto attack and then he just got demolished, man. That red buff change. Crazy. All right. I'll see you guys next game. What's up, boys? Probably the last game here and I get to play a Hades mirror. Let's go. I mean, not because it's a Hades mirror, but because I get to play Hades. I feel like I haven't played Hades in forever. Normally, I'm the one who bans him, but I'm always down for a Hades mirror. And this is Willie Derpy Derp, who is, by the way, a good Hades. So this will be fun. This will be fun. Should I go Bancrofts? Because what I could do is I could actually go Chronos Pendant Pestilence. It will stifle my early game a lot, and I don't think I can afford to fuck up my early game. I don't think I can afford to fuck up my early game against a Hades. 
obviously I only have a gold border on Hades because I don't play him much. I actually don't think I've lost with Hades this year at all. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just I just started banning him because I was playing him too much. And then it's been like three months since I've played him because I just kept banning him. I'm thinking I proxy wave here. Let him get red and get his blue. No. He wants red. He detonated. Nice. I'm going to actually horn shard this because I want to be able to group minions. I want to be able to keep my my advantageous lead right now, my red buff. Wow, the damage difference while having a red buff is absurd. He's waiting for me to use my one, which I'm not going to use, by the way. The reason he's waiting for me to use my one is so he can get his blue, but now he's way too low anyways. He can't come over here. I'll give him a free wave clear, and then I'll take his blue, and then I'll take his his uh well, I was gonna say his XP camp, but it's actually my XP camp. What a good early game. Oh, I missed the that would have one hit had I hit that last guy, but I missed my auto attack like a bozo. We'll clear a wave. Bazinga. And then we'll get blue buff. I don't think he can steal this. And if he does jump over the wall, I just alt him. I don't think I'm that scared of him. Let's get that Bancrofts. Let's sell this and grab a chalice and head out. We have gotten every XP camp plus, or I'm sorry, every buff camp plus the XP camp. He did get the minis of the red buff, so I'm not 100% winning, but like I'm not 100%, I am 100% winning, but like, I've not got 100% of the XP on the map. Maybe a challenge to do in the future. See if I can get every XP on the map, period. Every bull demon, every treasure, every mini camp. Just absolutely everything. Every bull demon. That would be interesting. Ah, he's better than me, damn it. I really want to dive in there, but I know he has ult, so I'm not going to. Alright. Hashtag not scared. I'm going to annoy the piss out of him because I can. Hello? Oh my god, there's no way he's not going defense here. There's no way. You're... You're greedy. You're a greedy boy. You don't win these. I have a full ass level on you, my guy. Man. My XP. My mana. My mana cucked me. Damn. Oh, and he got that. That is... Ah, and he has enough mana to want to fight too. Oh, he has enough for all three abilities. I did not think he had enough for all three abilities. Alright, I just literally spoon fed him. Come here, yo, yo, baby. Come here, yo, yo, baby. Oh, yeah. Eat the XP. Fucking spoon fed him back into the game. Your middle tower. Maybe I need to respect him a little bit more. Hmm? Hmm? Probably. What a dumb way to die. Although him not going defense is actually going to lose him this game. And it's, unironically, it's not going to be close at all. My hunger cannot be the chill. Mm. 
All right. That doesn't bother me. I'm already back in the game in terms of XP and stuff. He went poly. I get pestilence. Yeah, I am. First off, I have 55% anti-heal against his double, his double life steal. He doesn't have enough power for poly to be super worth it already. And I just get an extra 80 protections, 250 health. He has no pen. I mean, obviously he's going to build Typhons, but he has to go defense before Typhons, which means I get pen before he gets pen. And then I can go poly after. And my build is just more optimal. By the way, this skin is actually really cool. I do like the skin he's using more. But I figured I'd switch it up. Yeah, I'm only 200 gold down, man. After first blood, I was 800 gold down. And already, I'm only 200. I'm feeling pretty good. Let's see if he goes defense now. Yep, there's the defense. Okay. I missed. I'm bad at games. Oh. You're also bad at games. Or even... Even Stevens. You guys remember that show? Ouch. Wow, you are low. Don't you dare come in here, dude. I missed. I'm really not scared of him. I mean, maybe I should be a little bit, but... My Pestilence is farming. It's farming. His poly did do a lot of damage, to be fair. 360. Which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting it to be much worse for him, but you know, he proved me wrong. I'm still going Pythags or uh, uh, Typhons next. I assume you want your blue. Thank you. I am not scared at all of him. Still going Typhons. And oh, that's it. I was going to upgrade my, my Bancrofts now, but 600 gold on that right now just isn't worth it. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know why I'm hitting him. I'm padding my damage stats right now. Okay. Okay. He's padding his damage stats too. Oh well. But what if I just altered you though? You know? Like what if I just did this? killed him there very almost i'm actually back ahead by the way this is really bad for him for two reasons one me being ahead after him getting a kill obviously indicates a bigger issue that he's not farming correctly two me being ahead after getting a kill obviously proves that or or what it proves is that he's gonna have a 15 percent bounty and I have none, which means if he kills me, ah, eh, oh well. But if I kill him, I'm getting an extra 15% gold on top of everything. 
gold, XP, everything, dude. I I just do not fear him. Hello? Yeah, so we're going to have the same build. He's going to have better burst, but I'm going to have a better sustained fight by a mile. Come on, group of minions. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Are you good? Perfect. Thank you for doing that. He hits me for 47. I hit him for 63. That's a red buff diff. And now I can get a blue buff diff here too. Unfortunately for him, my build is just simply better right now. I'm not really scared of him at all. Clear this. Clear this, do my blue, get my poly. Now what I'm thinking here, he did go beads by the way, so I need to I need to remember that he is not going to be silenced one of these times. So if it's a life or death situation and my silence needs to go off for me to live, it's not going to work. So in my head, I'm planting that. I don't know why I went. It was for fun. I just wanted to. Good typhons? You do. Okay. I miss my poly. I'm a bozo. Ouch. I miss my poly again. I am what's called an Omega bozo now. Although he is not in a good situation. Yep. Oh, right. Dual orb. Not in a good situation. And because he still had that bounty on him, that kill gave me almost, it gave me 450 XP, 370 gold. That gave me so much of an advantage. I'm not saying dying is good early, but I am saying that if you're confident, you can outbuild your opponent and, you know, inevitably make a comeback because your build is better then dying first actually is kind of a blessing that item does nothing so we still have the exact same build except i have a two level lead in all of my base stats you know magical defense power from scaling from being a mage attack speed hp Right, he's dead. He's dead. I caught up to him while I had alt. My damage is just too much, man. GG. I think that's going to be it for this video. I've only recorded for an hour and 10 minutes. So I'm thinking this might be a 50 minute try hard Thursday, especially because that one game was cut out a little bit. But the queue times were really short. So I'm thinking maybe we still hit 50. Somewhere between 53 to 56 is what I'm hoping. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the game, the games today. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe until next time, guys. Peace. Yo, what's going on, boys? I'm back. I know I already did my outro last game, but after cutting out all the queue timers and that one, uh, all around game, I realized that that was only 45 minutes and 45 minutes for a try hard Thursday is not enough. So. I want that at least 55 minute mark to an hour. So we're doing one more game. One last game. Little Freya. Little Freya action. I'm not scared of nobody on Freya. 
I figure the le the worst thing that happens is this guy F6 is at five. And we at least have, I believe, that 55 minute mark. Because we're at. Yeah, after all the queue times are cut out, it's at exactly 50 minutes. 50 minutes and one second. So <laughs> I uh I edited out that stuff and then was like, no. I gotta boot up the recording again. We got one more game to play here. There's no way I do y'all like that. I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Minions have spawned. He's just not playing. Ah, crap. Honestly, whatever. Yeah. Oh, so close. So close. I got the double heal going. I'm not scared. Okay, I lied. I'm actually terrified. All right, nice. He can't kill me now. I'm vibing. I got my three. Oh, no. My two ran out. Oh, that auto kills, man. Every single time. If that auto catches air, he kill he dies. A hundred percent of the time. What a scenario. What a scenario. Uh, I can't kill him. I don't have enough mana to use my two and my three and my ult. So because of that no sense in risking that last that last engagement when instead what i can do so i can just take his blue and my 500 gold advantage and go to my blue now you know as of so far i have done the no xp for him challenge not even a mini. I just got to find the treasure chest exactly at three minutes. Do not scare me. Young one. My damage is kind of nuts. But just Bancrofts too, dude. Imagine. Dude, I just do so much. Yo, he doesn't die there? Oh my gosh. He's cracked. This man is living a life we all wish we were living. Oh no, he has an alt. I'm standing here because if this treasure chest spawns at three minutes, I want to be the one to get it. It did. Let's go. The no XP dream is alive for him. Well, for me. No, he got them. We got two of them. All right. Well, unfortunately, he's better than me. So now I ha I'm going to do that challenge at some point. At some point, I'm doing that challenge. I don't care what it takes. He's got the full transcendence already. I don't think he can kill me with horrific and my three. I'm feeling pretty comfortable. I'm feeling pretty comfy right now.
He's acting like he wants to fight and then acting like he really doesn't want to fight. I'm bad. That's unlucky. I'm just going to go do your blue then. All right, he's doing wave. That's fine. No big deal. I want some mana, so I'm going to go breastplate. If it's heavy, forget about it. Um, and actually, I'm going to go a mana pot too because I'm picking up red buffs. My mana is kind of bupkis. Uh, blue buff down. It's pretty gnarly to think that he's only gotten two XP camps. Or only gotten two minis from an XP camp. This entire game. You are running. No treasure chests, no buffs. I just wanted to annoy him. Honestly, dude, you know what? Oh. I am really surprised he even he even decided to remotely turn around there. Like even for a second. He missed that entire wave. My goodness, that sucks. For him. It's amazing for me. Uh these should be back up. Or maybe they shouldn't be. I think they it takes three minutes to spawn. From the death of the last one. And I was not paying attention to when I killed the last one, unfortunately. You got shoguns. Alright. I know you want this. I think he's just going to run. I think he's just going to spend most of his game running for me. Until he inevitably cannot anymore. entire goal this game is to make sure he gets no xp because even though even though nobody's gonna kill look at that difference in gold look at the difference in gold look at the difference in xp i'm two levels ahead and 1.6 thousand gold ahead because i've not let him got, get a single buff this game i've made him miss camps that's mine too by the way He's just not able to do anything, man. This is such an abusive playstyle. I don't normally play like this, but maybe I should. Just play like a counter way. Uh, 
was thinking about taking tower there, but it's not really worth it. Or taking bold even to take tower. It's probably war more worth my time to just stand here and be annoying. Oh, like that. Literally exactly like that. It's more worth my time to stand there and be annoying than it is to actually take Bull Demon. That abusive playstyle, that complete cancel XP playstyle that I was doing, where I don't even care about fighting him or annoying him, I just run around taking all the XP off the map, got me three levels ahead, and what's the gold difference? Almost 2,000 gold ahead. It's insane that's insane that you can play duel like that and actually win i know a lot of people have been playing duel like that for a long time but like now that i'm seeing it it blows my mind anyways thank you guys for watching i know i did the in the uh outro last game and now i'm playing this game but a eh, little bonus for those that didn't leave during the outro peace